Hey folks, welcome back. Um, a couple weeks ago, I released the first in what's going to be a series of videos called uh, RV Map. And um, that first video, it was more about me weighing the our call, uh, which is our Dodge Durango. So in that video, we did two things. First is, it was my first time trying a CAT scale. And then the second is, I bought a um, Kurt Betterway mobile weight scale. And that plugs into your uh, car's OBD2 port. Um, so there's my first experience with that too. Um, I'll link it up there um, so that uh, you guys can take a look. Um, today, I wanted to take a deeper dive into how I've estimated just how much weight uh, we are going to be traveling with uh, overall. So it's going to be what we're looking at for our tow vehicle, what we're looking at for payload, and how much weight we're going to tow overall. So let's get started. Okay, so I have everything laid out in an Excel document. And um, it, it was just good to give me a, an overview and we'll take you through bits and pieces of it. So let's just start with our tow vehicle, which is our 2018 Dodge Durango GT all wheel drive. And it's a V6. Um, we went with a V6 because it's also my daily driver. I take it to work. So the a couple extra miles of fuel economy you know, initially felt good. And I think once we get out on the road, we're gonna see how well it tows, um, given the weight that we're looking at here. If it feels like it's a bit of a struggle in towing based on what we're estimating here, um, I think sometime down the line, we'll probably think about upgrading to a V8 engine just to make that um, piece of it easier. But um, back to what we're looking at here, um, so the curb weight on the car right now is, stands at 4,985 pounds and the total gross vehicle weight rating is at 6,500 pounds. The payload, if you see down here, that's uh, how much the car is able to carry to support is uh, 1,200 pounds. And um, the next number below that, which is the max tongue weight, and that is uh, along the back of the vehicle and the weight that's going to be on the hitch itself. Um, that's how much weight at 620 pounds, that's how much weight um, we should be able to put on there um, specifically. Um, our towing capacity for the vehicle, it, we do have the trailering package that's factory installed. And um, so that gives it a 6,200 tow pound towing capacity. Um, all the research that we've done, it looks like we should be good if we try to stay at around an 80% of that number. So for us, we want to be somewhere, you know, around the 5,000 pound range, or in this case, a little below. So, <clears throat> and then the last number that you see here is this gross combined weight rating which means your total weight of the vehicle with payload and the total weight of the um, thing that you're towing can't be more than 11,200 pounds for this particular car. Um, so that's what we're working with from a number standpoint as it relates to the tow vehicle. Let's take a look at the travel trailer that we found and all the things that we plan on having in it and how much that ends up being. So looking at the towing section, you'll see here that we have this Jayco J Feather X23B um, hybrid travel trailer and that's, you know, there was a video uh, a couple weeks ago where I actually uh, talk about finding it, putting a deposit down, going to the dealership and taking a look at a late model. So um, we'll have a link for you to go check it out. One thing to note on the weight of the trailer is that in the chart here, you'll see that I have it listed at 4,549 pounds. In comparison, if you go to the JCO website, you'll see that if I look at the specifications here, um, the unloaded vehicle weight of the X23B is actually 4,380 pounds. And so that makes a 160 pound difference. So what you want to do when you go do your research in terms of finding a trailer is keep note of the unloaded vehicle weight and more specifically how the manufacturers are actually defining it. 
So in Jayco's case, they define it as this is the weight of the rig as it is assembled in the factory. Uh, dry doesn't include cargo, fresh water, uh, propane, and any options or accessories. So that comes in at 4,380 pounds. So why am I seeing 4,549 pounds when the website is telling me 4,380? Well, it's because it's lacking all the options. One of the things that Jayco tells me is, is that they have this customer value package and that package, it's listed under options, but it's not really optional and it becomes mandatory. So if you look at what's included in the, um, in the customer value package, um, it's the Goodyear tires that you'll see in the videos. It's the roof mounted AC. It's the liquid propane tanks um, that's included, your water heater. All the things that become highlights of the videos that you see when they're walking through, that is actually not even um, option option, but it's a mandatory option. And it gets added on to uh, the weight. Right, so all of these things start to add additional weight to the 4,380 pounds. And once you add that all in, when it rolls out onto the dealership, you're at the 4,549 pounds. So it's important to keep note of that difference because you might think by looking on a website and looking at YouTube videos like, oh, all these features, they come and I'm looking at a certain weight on the website and you're making that connection. But in fact, like really go to a dealership and look at a sticker because this 160 pounds, you know, for us might make a little bit of difference, but for other people, it might make a big difference. That's a make or break in terms of what you can or cannot tow. Uh, just be mindful of that as you're doing your research. Back to our chart. So what we've done is break out all the stuff that we are planning on bringing with us. And we divided that up into essentials or comfort. So essentials are things like we need a battery and I have thoughts around putting in a battery disconnect, obviously getting a box for the battery. We have the tools that we want to bring. We have a ladder just in case we need to get to the roof for something. Um, and then all the storage, chocks amongst chocks, uh, sewer hoses, all kinds of other hoses, uh, stabilizer, jack pads and surge protectors, all those kind of utility accessories, if you will, that we're deeming to be essential, that becomes one section of, um, of what we want to bring. So you'll see like I'm looking at 196 pounds of stuff that's deemed to be essentials. And then we have the bottom section, which is comfort. And comfort is all the things that you could say they're like nice to have. You know, you don't really need to have them, but they are what is going to make our experience um, ours. So the first thing on the list that you see here is a generator, and I'll have another video on generators soon. Um, that'll be another RV math one, because that's no, just another set of numbers that you have to keep your, uh, keep your head on. Um, and then we have human things. These are things that myself and Michelle were going to bring. You know, clothing, be probably nice to have, right? Um, and then kitchen supplies, um, I have a desire to get a Blackstone griddle because I've seen a lot of videos of people using them and um, uh, I want to try them out. Um, chairs, I have my camera equipment um, that I might want to bring. And uh, our pet supplies, food obviously, what we're going to store in the fridge. Um, we'll want a TV in the camper and then a camping table and mattress topper on top of the um, mattress pads that are already in the travel trailer. Total towing, including the weight of the trailer itself with the customer value package, along with everything that we want to bring, we're looking at 4,970 pounds. And, you're, and if we go back to what we're looking at for uh, what we want to be in terms of how much we want to tow in terms of capacity, we're at 4,960. So we're over by 10 pounds. I'm comfortable with that. The next thing we want to look at is uh, payload. So payload, again, is more about how much weight we're putting on um, the vehicle itself, the tow vehicle itself. And the maximum here that we're looking at for our Durango is listed at 1,200 pounds. It's on, it's on a sticker. So um, within payload, we're looking at you know obviously humans, 
four people that we're carrying. And so we have a rough estimate here. We have uh, our pets that we want to bring along. Um, Toby, Henry, and the cat, um, who will be known as the cat for now. <laughs> but uh, um, they come in at around 70 pounds. Um, the one thing that I want to dig a little deeper on is the tongue weight. So in the research, um, I've always noted that uh, everyone says tongue weight should be between 10 and 12% of, um, uh, of your total trailer weight. Um, so the first thing I did was if I would go back to the Jayco website and I look at my uh, floor plan and uh, if I know that in the specs my unloaded vehicle weight is 4,380 pounds and then that corresponded to my dry hitch weight of 485 pounds, it was a simple division to understand that that is roughly like 11% of my total trailer weight. So now that I know that I have that 11%, presumably if I know that my trailer weight with everything that I wanna carry is 4,970 pounds, I just multiply that by 11% or 0.11 and then I can estimate that my tongue weight with everything that I'm carrying is going to be around 547 pounds. The maximum tongue weight that I mentioned before for our vehicle is 620 pounds, so we have roughly like a 70-80 pound cushion there. However, the other thing that I wanted to take into account is the weight of our weight distribution hitch. So we're planning on using one for safety purposes, um, however the total weight of everything that it comes in um, is 102 pounds. I don't know if it's just the hitch itself or it's the hitch plus bars, um, but conservatively I'm taking all of that into account. So if that is at 102 pounds and my tongue weight is going to be at 547 pounds already, both of these are going to have pressure on the hitch uh, of the vehicle itself. So I'm looking at a total of 649 pounds, which puts us over our max tongue weight by, six, by 29 pounds. However, if I'm understanding it correctly, if the weight distribution hitch is designed to put some of the pressure off of the rear of the vehicle and shift that to, to the forward axle, I'm hoping that I'll actually take um, some of the pressure off. So um, hopefully that, that can work, even though we're a little over our max tongue weight right now. Um, once we have our total payload, we are at 1,139 pounds. And again, our total payload is 1,200 pounds. And so we are well under that um, by around 60 pounds or so. Um, once we add the payload plus the curb weight of the vehicle, we get to 6,124 pounds which puts us around 376 pounds below our gross vehicle rate rating. So feeling good about that. And then when we look at our total vehicle weight and then combine that with the total trailer weight, we get our gross combined vehicle weight rating. And that is 11,094 pounds. And we, so that puts us around 100 pounds under um, our gross combined weight rating for the entirety of this setup. Um, so overall, we're feeling pretty good about what we have here, but also once we have the trailer here and we able, when we're able to test it and pack everything and then get it onto a CAT scale, um, we should have much more accurate understanding of what we're working with here once we hit the road. So, so that's it for this particular video. Like I said, we'll have something on generators coming up soon in terms of the thoughts that I put into that. Um, and then more to come as I get updates on where, where my trailer actually is as um, Jayco plans on restarting their production um, on May 4th. So, see you guys soon.